Hello viewers, well you've seen my first video, my first run to Silverstone, uh, exploring the game, exploring the tyres, uh, a little bit of curves, something like that. Just watched the uh, Grand Prix qualifying today and Lewis Hamilton is down in 10th for the British Grand Prix this year, certainly won't be happy with that. So rather appropriately now, I have a video driving as Lewis in the game here, uh, pulling away around those first few corners again, just seeing if the, the sort of different nuances of the car. Really, I, I found on this start that you want to be on the other side of the track, you really want to cover the inside line here, and this is where I was trying to cover it on the first few goes, didn't, and realised it was putting me back in the field. If I'd taken the inside, I'd have held a lot of the AI cars behind me. Uh, this is a, a selection of different runs here, you're seeing, uh, you know, using the curves down that straight there. Wellington Strait, of course that's going to be where the DRS zone is going to be, trying to get a feel for it. Uh, skipping to another point here, you know, in, 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 a, in the same race I believe. Uh, just getting a feel around uh, Cops into Maggots and Beckett's. Uh, better line this time you can see, but uh, obviously I've got a couple of slow cars in my way. And I just wanted to show the racing line, uh, how it alters there and overtaking a few cars as we go down the hangar straight. So, uh, trying to just get a feel, you know, more of a feel for the handling, the AI, how it's going to work. Uh, it will take a bit of time to build up consistency. I was actually very comfortable with the handling. I just think I needed more track time, really. I wouldn't have minded doing a few time trials rather than in the race, because when you're in a race, you've got cars buffeting you around. I think time trials would be nice just to get a flow for the uh, circuit. Again, having a few battles here. Getting better at the braking though, hitting a few apexes here and there now. Again, once you generate some heat to your tyres, it's a massive help. Now we have a race. Uh, and this is good now. This is going to this is a full race uh, where you see the, uh, the life of the tyres, if you like. Unfortunately, I don't have any cockpit cam footage for you guys. Uh, of course, uh, today we've also got the uh, drama of the off-throttle blown diffusers which is uh, raging away uh, a lot of arguments between the teams because uh, some teams have been allowed uh, been allowed 50% gases going through the uh, diffuser some teams have no gases some te teams have fuel burn off and everything else and they're using other gases to go through it which the FIA is saying okay so it seems a bit unstable so if we could see a chart of teams that were affected and teams that weren't we'd have a much better picture of what's happening right now and the FIA regulations have been a bit, little bit messed up there so all of that information telling you who's benefiting and who's not uh, we're not seeing at the moment as I take uh, cops there much better you can see that car as I was mentioning in the last video sort of really sort of throwing it into the corners now lovely lovely round there as there is I'm you can see I'm slower on the power than the AI though they really pull out of those traction zones but I have loads more grip into the braking zones so this is battling for the lead Lewis leading the British Grand Prix on a sunny day lovely that's what we want to see we won't see it tomorrow though will we probably it's going to be raining and windy oh look disaster Lewis is off and again here you know that corner actually was a lot slower it might be my tyres weren't hot or whatever I hit the brakes at the same time I always hit them I usually use the marker board and I would pass the marker board and hit the brakes but on this game uh, I find I have to brake before the marker board well before it and really heavily brake as well uh, again braking too late trying too hard really the game kind of forces you into it you want to you want to get more speed I'm, I suppose it's a bit of Lewis style really I, I wanted to get more speed I wanted to hassle uh, the Ferrari there but I just you know I'm going as fast as I can and sometimes you just if you try to push that limit which you have to when you first get on these games then you try too hard so I'm hitting the bollards there using every ounce of track getting pushed out wide by the Red Bull it was hard keeping up with those guys. You can see the Ferrari's gone down the road. I'm not giving up. Uh, again, I mentioned in the last video, the AI was very aggressive. So I'm I'm taking every opportunity to take these guys now. Even a corner like, like Cops are again, you know, I'm, I'm just throwing the car in there, trying to get the speed. Fast through that section. So you can see I've improved from the first video, and you can see what a few laps will do. If I do 20, 30 laps on this circuit, you know, loads of time, it would be great. I mean, obviously, on the day, you know, you're getting in there, you're having three laps or whatever and jumping out, somebody else jumps in the pod. But once I get it home, I can do loads of laps. Comfortable on my tyres, though. 
tyres are working well, grip is improving, tyre temperatures improved, everything else. That's why I touched the Ferrari. So, you know, it's got to be done. Fortunately, I got a penalty for that. So, that was a bit of a bummer. Typical for Lewis, really, isn't it? I mean, always getting penalties. Lewis, what's happening? Um, and so, into this final lap, I'm leading. Do you know, running this with all assists off on the hardest setting, this was the only time I, I think I saw anyone lead a race on the day. It was actually really difficult. Uh, and so, I felt quite comfortable. I thought, yeah, bring it home to victory, no problem. Bit of a mantle moment again, but on the final. Uh, on the final uh, sort of lap now, actually talking to Mansell, you'll have seen him on BBC F1 talking about NASA parts as well. That's quite interesting. NASA have created a carbon fibre, this or that. Oh, I'm making a mistake there. Under pressure. And again, the thing I've noticed in these laps is that the tyres have changed massively. First lap very cold. Second lap getting way more comfortable. Third lap they fall off really quickly, and you're going to see this as I go through the lap. A little bite there, but. Okay, not too bad. Wasn't quite how I wanted it. Do this fast section again. Down a gear, down two more gears, and then down a gear again as we go down in third. That's it. Riding all the curb. I really wanted to find out how I could get more traction there. Using all the curb. You wouldn't want to use that much curb. Of course, the drivers have been fighting for grip today in the changeable conditions and the changeable regulations. Kind of what we're doing here. So, we're coming into the chicane again, braking, very unstable there, struggling to get on the power, onto this final uh, sort of lap now and I'm thinking right, you know, most races were three laps, I thought the race was over at this point and realised it wasn't, had to do another lap, in the slow section, wow, grip had gone from the tyres here, I'm like wow, I'm coasting through here and completely gone. My grip had completely gone from my tyres at this point. I tried to get progressively on the power and it just wouldn't have it. I'd literally need to coast through that corner. Uh, and again here, I'm thinking, right, I had no grip. And we come up to this corner and hit the brakes as usual, go into the corner, done that you know, lots of times, completely gone. So once I was doing a race longer than three laps, obviously the tyres were really burning out very, very quickly. Not just a qualifying run, but you know, it seemed like whether they altered the race fuel and the tyres for the race mode, or whether it's just the fact that it's an early version. But that was a good example of Lewis in action at Silverstone. But that's just another video. We've got more to come. A bit of Belgium, a bit of Spa, a bit of community activity, as well as some of the events that took place on the launch event as well. So more to come, viewers. See you soon.